So, I pitched an idea to Amazon, Audible, all them. I said, okay, you, you do series, right? What about this? A guy gets a demon doll showing up at his apartment, like in all the horror movies, but he is not an, a horror movie idiot. So he handles it as a regular smart guy and realistic. I'm calling it the Demon Doll Diaries. And they said, thank you, but no thank you. Um, would you, that, you know, that's how those people are. Uh, apparently they could not wrap their brain around something that cool. So I wrote them back. I really did. I just sent them an email saying, hey, I understand. It's no problem, right? That's the way it goes. You know, thank you for taking the time to push the Bezos penis out from your face so you can reply to me. But I do want to say, I believe you have misunderstood me. I am not pitching you an idea because I want to be another one of these shut-ins like Game of Thrones guy, just picking crumbs off my pajamas all day while I write stuff. This really happened. I really got demon dolled and recorded it. You could have made us famous with this so famous first real demon thing ever documented. And again, thank you for your time. But really, it's so unfortunate that everyone there is too busy crying into their lunchroom food because they decided to let Overlord Penis sodomize them for every weekday throughout their prime years. And look what I did, prime. I added that in. And I, I have snappy stuff like that. You could have had me cheat. I even show, let him see this, right? Actual footage of me taking the doll that the box came in to try to get uh, maybe demon to go down into skeleton. And don't, do not laugh at that. Right? You try getting demon dolled. It's a very difficult situation. Right? But they could have had this. They had an audio footage, everything. And uh, but no, I guess they're too busy being Dilbert people in there. How, however, I am not bitter. Because you can get Demon Doll Diaries right now at Bandcamp for cheap. And this is an important one. First real horror movie ever. For your ears. Right? Everyone else doing horror movie for your eyes? And what happens? It's always fake. But your ears, where you receive information? Think about it. Well, how, how do I fake sound? It's either, it's either a sound or it's not. 